Hi everyone, it's Karen Boniker, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack called Pop Art, and it's for Painter Essentials 7. And I think you're really going to enjoy this brush pack. It's lots of fun to work with, um, lots of expressive brushes, and many, many ways that you can use it. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to use this amazing brush pack. The first brush we're going to take a look at is called Pop Block. And this one is uh, a really nice brush for starting um, some of your basic sketching or uh, wherever you need to apply color. So it's a kind of a chalky pastel type of brush, really fun for um, just getting in some of the details that you need or adding uh, shadows and elements such as that. So this one is called Pop Block. I'll do a quick brush stroke here so you can get an idea of the brush. Nice and big. So it's very um, chalky in, in its look. Um, when you apply it with uh, firm pressure, you get lots of saturation. I'll show you this. And then soft pressure, you get a little bit of blending on the edges. So it's a nice brush to work with. And that's Pop Block. The next brush is Pop Burst, and this one I'm just going to go ahead and drag this down so you can kind of see how this brush uh, works. And you can see that it's picking up color from uh, hue, saturation, and, or hue in terms of the color set. And this is lots of fun because it'll give you lots of colorful um, dots and spots to work with. And that's Pop Burst. The next brush is Pop Daisy. And this brush I'm going to just go ahead and drag along too. And firm pressure, you'll get a nice big design. And soft pressure, you get just a small. So it gets bigger and bigger as you put more pressure on your stylus. And that one is called Pop Daisy. The next brush is called Pop Dotty. And this one is just a dotting type of brush. Uh, you can use it for things like um, necklaces or where you want to add some pattern elements. So it's a fun brush to work with. And that's Pop Dotty. The next brush is Pop Flower. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how this one works. Again, soft pressure, you're going to get a very small brush stroke. So it'd be good for jewelry and earrings and things like that, pattern work. And it does respond to color changes. So if you pick a different color, you can work with different colors of this pattern. And that's Pop Flower. The next brush is Pop Hair, and I really like this one. Um, how you would work with it is um, you can use it kind of in a pop art kind of way where you can paint in different color into the hair. Nice and big, I'll give you a brush stroke here, so it's a really nice fluid hair brush. And firm pressure, you're, you'll get lots of nice saturation coming through. And then you can also use softer pressure to get some nice blending of those hairs. So that is Pop Hair. This brush is called Pop Ink. This is the brush that I use to create this little figure here. Um, the brush has a high smoothing rate. So it's a beautiful brush for uh, lots of control. So if you're looking to do some illustration, it gives you a very slow kind of drag to the brush where the smoothing is set up high. So you get a nice even flow. So it gives you that opportunity to get lots of nice detail, very graphic brush. And that is Pop Ink. This is Pop Shader. 
and this one I'll use at a nice big size. It would be great for um, adding texture so you can see how it's picking up different color based upon the color set and then firm pressure you can see that it just kind of uh, puts down lots of texture and uh, color and then as you hit the edges with very soft pressure you can see how it blends those edges so it's a good brush to use at default size firm pressure and then softer pressure And that is Pop Shader. The next brush is Solar Pop. And again, I'm just going to let this one go. It's a real fun brush for adding design, texture, and pattern. I remember that you can use these within selections, fill a selection. So those are some of the ideas that you can work with with this brush. This one is also picking up color from the color set so it's going to be varying the color as you lay it down. And that's Solar Pop. The next brush is Velocity Pop and this one is really fun. Um, it, As you put firm pressure on it you can use your mouse or your stylus it's going to, uh, it is set to velocity, so it's actually going to turn and spin as you lay down the brush stroke. So it's a really fun brush for this kind of effect, for pattern. Um, you can use it with paper texture, so that's another way that you can apply it. So it's a fun brush to work with. And uh, let me show you this brush stroke one more time so you can see how it twirls and moves around as you apply the brush stroke. And that is Velocity Pop. So I hope you will enjoy these new brushes for Painter Essential 7 called Pop Art. And here are just some of the things that you can do with that wonderful inking pen some of the designs and patterns that you can create and you'll have lots of fun. All right, take care.